Hey guys, welcome out to the shop and today I'm going to be building a Lego wall for my mom's library. To start with, I'm going to be cutting this profile into a bunch of 2x4s. Now on the first few passes, I'm going to be making a 3 quarter inch deep cut. And now I'm going to make an inch and a quarter deep cut so that that and the first cut meet together to take out a strip of the wood. And now we're going to put a quarter inch round over on the two edges of the thinner part of the 2x4s because those are going to be the face when this is put together. Now using a simple miter jig, I can cut the 45 degree angles. We also cut an MDF sheet to be the backboard for the Lego base plates. And I have a Lego plate and tile stuck together to be a spacer between the frame and the MDF sheet. And a bit of teamwork never hurt. My dad's measuring out all the spaces where I need to countersink a screw. Now I bet you're probably wondering, why didn't you use any glue? Well, we're going to. So now I'm going to go through and unscrew one side at a time so that I can glue it up and put it back in place and then use the corners as my reference points for where to put each side. Now to securely hold the corners together, I'm going to put one screw in each corner coming from either the top or the bottom. That way we won't be able to see the screw heads. After some wood filler and sanding, it's now time to put some primer on. It's really nice having a lackey to do all the work for me. That way I can get nice action shots. Now to support the MDF from the back, we're going to screw two boards to it from the front. Now we're going to sand over the new screws because some of the MDF has pushed up and the base plates won't lay flat unless we sand it down. Reiteration. Oh, and we finished painting it. And now to wipe down the MDS sheet with a tack cloth. Ah, I'm Lord Business and I have the craggle. I'm gonna glue these base plates to the wood. Oh no, it's Kevin, he might stop me. Ah, I'm Lord Business, I have one. So to help space all the base plates out, we've taken Lego bricks to hold them together because, oh, hold on, let the camera focus. They don't fit perfectly flush right up to each other. So because of that, we've had a few issues with measuring. But over here, the glue is drying, and the glue on the back of the base plates is drying. Or not drying, but getting to the point where we need to put it over here. All right, we're about halfway done, or a little less, but we have a bunch of base plates over here drying up, and we should be done shortly. All right, so one process that we found is very helpful is to put it in the corner, then when you put the brick on, put it on the piece that you're uh, trying to put down first, like that, and then smash it down in the corner. That'll help pull it together, that way, when this is all dried up, you can put a piece over here and it'll fit, and then you can put a piece right on the line and it'll still fit. It fits! All right guys, so we're doing four base plates by eight base plates and one can of this is enough. At least, I think so. Um, there's still a little bit left and everything seems to be sticking okay. So I'm going to say that that works. We're done! Alright guys, so the board is done. And it's dinner time, so I'll let my dad finish this later. Come on, Kevin, it's time to go home.